Hello, welcome to Chicken Bros. My name is David Heath. Oh, would you look at that? I'm down to my last few coppers. <laughs> and continuing on our Wallace and Gromit trend, we are talking about the next short film that Ardman made in 93 called The Wrong Trousers. My favorite of the tr- of the original trio, personally. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Nice. Um, I never actually thought about which of the original three were my favorites, but um, thinking about it, I think it's also my favorite, because... Grand Day Out, you know, it's not bad. You can just tell it's dated. And Close Shave was, like, really, really dark. Yeah, Close Shave is the second scariest one I've seen. We'll get yeah. to the f- fucking scariest one later. Yeah. But uh, Wrong Trousers, uh, it literally opens with it being Gromit's birthday. <laughs> and so uh, he... Uh, gets uh, what Moss wakes up. He like is pushing a button to signal Gromit to bring him downstairs. It's my time for breakfast this morning, Gromit. And I've got three minutes, eh? But Gromit, ah! Ugh. He has this whole mechanism where he lifts his bed up, slides him down through this hole in the ceiling, lands him perfectly in the seat across the table, and has this. And then puts on his a mach- another on. machine like pops on his shirt or yeah. his sweater. Yeah, and. and he's- his <laughs> sweat, his sweater, and his sleeves are separate. I never understood that. I yeah, it's weird. Uh, when I found out how sweater vests work, I was like, uh. <laughs> and then Gromit activates this machine that um, flings jelly towards uh, Wallace, but then the toast pops out at just the right moment. I don't know why, but that jelly on toast always looks so good to me. Yeah, ditto. But you know, for some reason, I don't know why, but jelly on toast, in my experience, never tasted as good as that looked. I know, right? I feel like I got cheated. Mm, cracking toast, Gromit. Cracking toast, Gromit. Um, Any post was there, by chance? chance? I, guess it's, I don't know why, but Wallace has this kind of like blank stare when he says that. He's like, Any post was there, by chance? <laughs> like he's staring off into space or some shit. Uh, so Gromit hands in the mail. He's like, oh no, they're all bills. And, he has to... and those presents weren't cheap either. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gromit, let's see what's on the 905, eh? And it's like this little train trolley that's going across the whole house and on a track. Don't know my dad would. My dad and my grandpa love would would love that shit because they both do model trains. Yeah, those, or those, my grandpa those are cool. did. did uh, so them. there's a little present on the train, so he gives it to so Happy birthday, Chuck. Day, Chuck. Ah. And it's a, it's a it was fucking collar, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a collar and a and a. Well, in America we call it a leash, but in uh, Britain, they call that a, li- a lead. Oh, that's right, they do. I mean, they have different words for everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Uh, and the reason that this is his present is because another part of his uh, surprise is this invention Wallace made, which are these big legs that are meant to walk Gromit for him. It's a leg! A mid reward! That's you! <laughs> Gosh. It's wrong movie. Uh,. But yeah, he basically can set the coordinates of where it goes, how long, and all that stuff. So walkies, uh, ten minutes, twenty minutes. Whoops! Have a nice walk, Baru. Yeah, one of the few times you actually hear Gromit make a noise. You actually, you actually hear, or I swear to God, you hear him say so in um, uh, Grand Day Out when he's drilling the hole and he gets flung. He goes Baru. Yeah, I think that's the other. Op- uh, op- uh, yeah, I think that's one. Because I remember that. Uh, but because Gromit is, you know, intelligent, he, during walkies, takes himself off of the, the collar and puts a, a pinata yeah. dog, I think, on it yeah, while he it goes like. and plays in the park, which has, says no dogs allowed. Haha, <laughs> beat the system, Gr- <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Wallace is doing up all of his bills and counting all the money and all that stuff. There's no use prevaricating about the bush. Yeah. So he, uh, when Gromit comes back, he sees that he's Wallace is letting a room out for rent, and uh, mm-hmm. someone comes and sees for the room. It's this uh, penguin. Penguin. Another mute character, but uh, he's, he's kind of freaky looking because he's got these beady eyes. Yeah, well, that, to me personally, beady black eyes never looked good in like three D animation or any sort of non 2D animated style it looks they look they look weird in anything but 2D to me anyway yeah it looks kind of freaky 
But um, the room he's going to let up to rent is kind of run down. So instead, this uh, bird, which, but by the way, his name is Feathers McGraw. Yeah, but you wouldn't know that unless you like, like read up on you know, the movie. Yeah, they don't yeah. outright say that. Well, I mean, I think it's written somewhere on like a newspaper or something. Yeah, it is. But I'm like, you have to like look. You have to like look. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah. gotta like. I didn't notice it when I was a kid. I just always called him the penguin. Yeah. Um. But like, he decides to go and stay in Gromit's room instead because it <laughs> looks nicer. Yeah. It's um no pets. Uh, does that suit you? <laughs> yeah, he's just not listening to Wallace. It's always like, okay, I guess I have to refit the other room for Gromit then. And it's probably a little pink. Who is it, Gromit? <laughs> and Gromit, meanwhile, is trying to get a hold of the legs because, yeah, not, not only are they just dismembered legs, you can wear them as if they were trousers. Oh, that's where my <laughs> braces went. <laughs> yeah, English word for suspenders, all, all you Americans out there. Which I didn't know for years because I'm not fucking British. Okay. I'm a Mary Can. Okay. <laughs> but the while this bird is here, he's becoming a nuisance to Gromit. Like he's always playing loud, loud music to the point where he's like driven literally out of his own house. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. What he's I'm also kind of taking over Gromit's duties as the house dog. Yeah, and getting kind of getting closer to Wallace. <clears throat> yeah. So it kind of does this whole, like, Gromit running away thing, which I gotta be honest, I still can't really get by. And, like, really, man? This is what pushes you? A freaking penguin? Like, I, I feel like if, you know, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was enough for me. But, anyway, yeah, Gromit pa packs up his stuff and leaves without Wallace knowing, like, late at night. But the penguin notices it, and, like, he gets, like there's, like, this, like, sinister, like, air about him, and he's like... Now it's he's a, like, he's got like a drill tool and like <laughs> he's, he's looming right next to the trout. <laughs> he's gonna get up to some nonsense. Yeah. And so the next morning, Gromit or no, pardon me, Wallace is woken up without him pushing the button, and instead of his normal pants, he's slit. He falls into the robotic trousers. He's like, "What have you done to the controls, Gromit? All the buttons and knobs are gone." And he starts walking. Not of his own volition. Someone's making him do this. It's like, whoa, stop it. This isn't funny, Gromit. <laughs> he bounces in the he air. Like, Let me die. Let me die. Sorry. And so uh, Gromit's trying to look for a job, and he notices a wanted poster with a chicken-looking thing, but this chicken-looking thing looks familiar. <laughs> it's a freaking bird. In a... Yeah, it's the penguin, but he's got, like, a rubber glove on his head. Yeah, like, it's not. they're not even kind of hiding it. <laughs> nope. But as he's reading this, Wallace zooms by. Gromit! Gromit! <laughs> ah, sorry! sorry. <laughs> it still kills me. It's so funny. Just, whoosh, Gromit! Boing. Sorry. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit, and they've gone wrong. And Gromit does eventually see the bird um, messing with a little robotic thing and then Wallace running away. So he tries to investigate quietly without being seen, and what you eventually find out is that when Wallace goes to sleep, he makes the bird... Oh, shocking calamity. Yeah, so Wallace is fast asleep. Fall asleep as fast. That's, a, that's as... another thing that makes me think he's elderly. He sleeps through nearly a lot. Like, so much yeah. he sleeps through. Yeah. But anyway, the bird uses him in the robotic trousers to get inside this, like, museum that has this, like, rare diamond, and he wants to steal it. Yeah. So he uses, like, this little helmet mechanism, which I have to, I have to assume he invented. I don't know if Wallace invented it. Yeah, I don't see Wallace inventing something like that. Yeah. Um, but he uses it as, like, a claw machine that he... Wallace is, ha Wallace is hanging upside down from the ceiling of the museum, and there's, like, lasers and shit everywhere. Uh, and he's trying to grab the diamond with the claw robot thing. The claw. And he almost does it. He manages to grab the diamond, but like he walks, uh, walks on like a weak floor uh, ceiling panel, and then like dart, like the diamond darts in front of one of the lasers and sets off the alarm. And so, that wakes up Wallace. Yeah, that's what wakes up Wallace. So he quickly gets him out of there and goes back to the house. <laughs> and I love that. Like it took him taking off the rubber glove until Wallace recognized him. He was like, good grief, it's you! <laughs> really, Wallace? Me. 
try to lose these minutes. And he, I love, like, the penguin turns around, and it's like, uh, Gromit with a fucking rolling point. I'm gonna yeah. beat the crap out of you. Yeah. And then, and then the penguin points the gun, like, oh shit. Yeah. Fucking, so he, he fucking... stuffs the both of them in, like, this big wardrobe. This is and, a fine how to do that, Gromit. So Gromit starts messing with the, the wires. Like, hey, now, what are you putting them paws? Yeah, he starts making them walk repeatedly to the floor. The wardrobe gives out and makes them walk out. <laughs> the there penguin... goes me, fine! <laughs> the penguin hops on the uh, train trolley system and Gromit's chasing him. And, uh, I think Wallace ends up on it too, but like his leg is stuck on like one of the carts. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> and it starts this whole chase sequence, which is actually really well made. I honestly don't know how they managed to do that. Yeah, especially with the fact like well, like the track was running out, so Gromit grabbed like, a bunch of extra track and just it just starts laying it out. Well, I mean, just like the animation, because like the characters are still like stop motion, but the background is moving like really fast, as if it was like you know, moving like moving naturally. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, like, maybe it's like green screen. I don't know, but like it was really well know. done. Uh, and yeah, the, <laughs> Gromit's like laying out the track and forming it as he's moving, which is impressive because that takes some speed and some. I mean, also, that was a tiny little box. How many pieces could there be in there? Yeah. Grandma just thinks and picks up the right piece to make the cart or the track move. I am a god. <laughs> I am a god. Yes, perfect. And the bird is flung from the train. Um, uh, Grandma hits a wall, grabs a bottle, and the penguin perfectly falls into it. And Gr- <laughs> like, we did it! Ha ha! And the trousers delivers the bird, the bird to jail. Well, technically it's a zoo, but well, I mean, I guess yeah, that's, for, I him, guess for that's, him, it's jail. I guess that's jail for a bird, yeah. Yeah, well, for that bird. But and then we'll also gonna get the reward. Yep. And uh, <laughs> I guess now those bills won't be a problem. And I think the, the trousers got away, right? They were in a trash can, and they started walking off. Yep. And that's where that one ends. <laughs> yep. But believe it or not, there is a continuation. There will be. Yes, there will be. Um, for those who don't know, <clears throat> Netflix and Ardman have teamed up to make another Wallace and Gromit feature film, like full-length film, where this character, the bird, comes back. I wonder what he's going to be up to this time. I won't know because I don't have Netflix, so I won't be able to watch it. I, I mean, again, we've talked about this. You can watch it with me. I have Netflix. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. So, um, I just don't know when it's coming out. It's like December or January. I keep hearing different dates. I don't know which one applies to American Netflix viewers. Mm-hmm. But I'll figure it out. Anyway, that is a, The Wrong Trousers. What would you rate this, Noah? Nine and a half out of ten. What's the point five? Because. Uh... I don't know. I guess just the. I'm. I very rarely hand up ten out of tens. That's true. I will give it a ten out of ten because I think like that, uh, on principle. Right. I think I give it a ten out of ten just because I like. I think I honestly think this is my favorite of the short films. I mean, it's mine too. I'm just saying. But um, and we will see you guys next time. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah, we're real chickens. <laughs>